Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Patriot sliding fifth wheel from BMW in a 2018 Ram 2500 short bed. Now BMW is one of my personal favorites when it comes to fifth wheel or goosenecks in general. The quality is awesome and they really do have a nice product and this is no different and it's got a lot of nice features. In fact, one of the great things about this is you can take this head up and pull it off, which seems like a small thing, but really it takes a lot of weight off if you ever plan on taking this out of your bed. Uh, to take the whole thing out can get pretty heavy. So being able to remove a pretty heavy section of it allows you to get this out and you can still use your truck bed. Now this is a great option for anyone with a six and a half foot bed because if you're pulling a fifth wheel trailer, no problem, you'll be able to hook up. But if you are towing a fifth wheel camper and you worry about that cab clearance when turning and you don't want to smash the cab, well, the great part is you just lift the handle and this will slide back in place and then lock in as soon as you put it back. So that's going to give you a lot more clearance when making those turns. Now the dual locking jaws also give you a good peace of mind when it snaps into place because uh, you have both of those biting down and then you also have your safety pin, put this in place and that's not going to be opening up. It's also nice too that it is attached to a chain that way you're not having to fumble around for the pin. You can just simply pull the chain and you'll know exactly where it's at. Now this is a pretty heavy duty fifth wheel and as the name kind of implies the 18K, this has a gross trailer weight rating of 18,000 pounds. So pretty good overall. Now you also have a vertical load here or your pin weight, uh, that's gonna come in at 4,500. So if you're looking to tow a fifth wheel camper, this is gonna be a great option for you. Now this is gonna drop into any of your standard bed rails like we have our, on our truck today, we have Demco, but they're all gonna be kind of that industry standard size. So this is no different, just drops in. You can put your pins and your cotter pin in place and then you have it attached. And just as I kind of mentioned before, maybe I'm partial, but dealing with fifth wheels, um, I've found that the B&W stuff really is awesome. All their products, I, I, I can vouch for them just having to deal with them firsthand. And they all have a really nice gray powder coat, which seems kind of maybe small, but it's got a really good look to it overall. And the name's kind of cool. It's the Patriot, it's got the flag on there. So this is a really great fifth wheel, especially for those short beds. But even if you don't have a short bed, doesn't really matter. This is going to be a great option for you. To get this all installed, it's pretty easy overall. You have some hardware that you're simply going to bolt in to these arms here. Now you are going to be able to adjust that. There are a few different height settings and you can actually alter them one way or the other to give it a little more offset. So on a short bed truck, as I mentioned, it's going to just bump that back a little bit, just giving you that extra clearance. Um, so really all you need is a few hand tools uh, and probably an extra set of hands to kind of get this up in the truck. It is rather heavy, just the base. Um, other than that, it's just a few bolts, a spring clip that we're going to hammer on, and uh, I'll show you how to get it all done. So let's get your Patriot installed. Now, once you get your uh, fifth wheel in place, you are going to put your pins and they're going to just slide through the holes on the rails. And then you're just going to throw a clip on there just to make sure that it's nice and secure, not going to come out of place. Now we need to attach our arms. And this can be done in either way, but since we have a short bed, we're gonna really want to get the head back as far as possible so you can see the way that the angle is. We want this sitting back a little bit further. And as far as lining this up, you're gonna want your trailer to be as level as possible when attached. So you may need to adjust this, but uh, for the time's sake, we're just going to go ahead and do the center here. That's normally a good rule of thumb. And you can always adjust it as necessary, but we'll just take our hardware and put a split split washer on there. And we're just gonna get these all aligned before tightening them down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just get these all tightened down using a 19 millimeter socket. Now using the torque setting found in the instruction manual, we're gonna go through and just torque all these down properly. On our driver's side arm here, we're gonna be attaching this spring to kind of keep it level. And you're looking for about a half inch gap between the top of that spring and the bottom of this rubber portion. And once we're kind of happy with that, what I'm gonna do is take a hammer and just kind of hit on here. And once it's kind of snapped into place, it'll bite onto that metal. So uh, make sure you have it set up exactly where you want it.
Now with that hammered in place, we can go ahead and get our hardware put in. So face that bolt out, and then we have our nylon lock nut here. And then to tighten this in place, we're going to be using 7 16 socket and wrench. Holding on to our handles here, we'll just make sure we have these up as we feed this on. And once it's dropped in place, we'll just drop those and it should be nice and attached. Now it's time to get our handle installed. So we'll just put our handle in place and we're going to be using the two outside holes as the middle one's going to be for the lock. So we'll just drop our cap head screws in and then we have our flange nuts. We're just going to get these hand tightened on real quick. And to get these tightened down, we're going to be using a 7 seconds hex up top and then a 14 millimeter uh, ratchet on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and get these tightened down. And that was a look at the BMW Patriot fifth wheel in a 2018 Ram 2500.